Hello everyone and welcome back. You're watching Gravener's Public Library Simple Sewing. My name's Miss Jen and I'm the Child and Youth Services Librarian here at GPL. Now we had to skip last week unfortunately, um, so we are going to pick up last week's project this week uh, and do our own travel tic-tac-toe game. So you are going to get to make a case that'll have all your pieces for your tic-tac-toe that'll open up and become your game board. Um, you are going to need your take and make kit from this week. You're gonna want um, your needles and pins, hopefully that are in your voodoo doll from last week. And you're going to need some scissors. You may also want an adult supervisor or helper for this activity. Go ahead, get all your materials and then we'll dig into our take and make kit and get started. In our take and makes this week, you got a um, tic-tac-toe travel case um, pattern. You got some more embroidery floss. You probably have some left over from last week as well, so you can use either of those. A piece of felt and <laughs> you will have also gotten 12 buttons in different colors. Um, so you will have gotten two buttons that are one color, five of a color, and five of another color. Get all that stuff out and we'll make our travel case. The first step, the first thing you need to do is cut out your pattern. So go ahead and do that. Voila. Next, you need to pin your pattern down onto um, your felt so you can use your pins from your voodoo doll. Um, the other option would be to just trace it instead of pinning. If you're more comfortable with that, you can just trace. But all I'm gonna do is stick two pins in to hold it down. So you can see I have my two pins holding it down and now it's time to cut this guy out. Let's do that. You can clean up any of the edges if you're not happy with their shape, if you want rounded corners like mine, or if you have any spots that are a little scraggly looking, feel free to tidy those up. And there we go. Next, what we need to do is we need to do the um, lines where you'll actually get to play tic-tac-toe, right? So it's the nine squares with the four lines that go across. Um, so to do that, we're going to use our embroidery thread. Okay, so open that. Um, like I said, you're also welcome to use the color that you got last week, whichever works for you. We're gonna cut a piece that's about the length of our uh, forearm here, as we always do. Okay, and we'll thread our needle. So I'm gonna take that and thread it on. Okay, then like we always do, we'll fold that in half so that the ends meet up at the same place over here and we will tie a knot at the other end opposite the needle. You want a nice big knot, so feel free to tie it twice. There we go. And then I'm just gonna cut off the excess after the um, knot so that it's not sticking out and looking ugly. From here, we are gonna sew a straight line from one end to the other. And what we're gonna do, it's called a running stitch. And all you do for running stitches, you go up and down and up and down in a straight line. Um, to make it a little easier on yourself, you can use a ruler and a pencil, and you can actually draw a, the lines out first, and then you can stitch along them. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I've just grabbed a ruler and a pencil here, and I'm literally gonna draw the lines that I wanna trace here. Thank you. 
Okay, so you can see I have drawn my tic-tac-toe pattern on the very center. Make sure that you leave enough room in here for the um, playing pieces, which are our buttons. So you wanna make sure there's enough room to sit your button in each of the spaces of the game board, okay? Now let's get sewing. So I'm just gonna pick a line. So I'm gonna do this line here first, and we're gonna come up from the back on the line. Okay, so I've come up from the back and pulled my needle tight so that the thread has caught in the back there. And then all you're gonna do is go a stitch length forward, which is just a little space, and you're gonna go back down on the line. And then pull tight. Okay. Now you don't, if you see when I pulled it really tight, it made my um, felt scrunch. You don't want it to be so tight that your felt is scrunching. So you want it to be loose enough that the felt is sitting naturally, okay? So I have my first line. Then I'm gonna go another stitch length forward and come back up on the line. So I'm just leaving little spaces and coming back up and down on my line like that and I'm gonna go all the way try and keep my line nice and straight that'll make it look nicer Okay, so you can see my first line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it off on the back by going through an existing stitch, making a big loop. You can see my big loop there, right? And I'm just gonna go through my loop and through my loop and make it into a knot. And then we'll cut off our excess string here. Okay, so there is our first line for our tic-tac-toe board. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've re-threaded my needle because we're gonna repeat what we did on this line with the other three lines that we have to do. One thing that I do wanna just mention, make sure that when you're stitching, in addition to keeping that line nice and straight, as straight as you can, try and keep the length of your stitches and the spacing between your stitches the same. So you want the length of these guys to be the same and consistent. It'll just make it look nicer and neater. Okay, so now let's just repeat that process for the other three lines. Here we go. I'm coming up from the back, right on the line. Pulling tight so my knot catches, and then just doing my running stitch all the way along. All right, so I've just gone ahead and re-threaded my needle with my embroidery floss. Um, we are going to be sewing on the buttons. So our little pouch for our tic-tac-toe board will look like this when it's all closed up. And we'll put two buttons on the outside that we'll be able to loop string around to hold it closed. And that'll hold all our game pieces on the inside. And that's what really makes it a travel pouch. And so on the other side here, we're gonna flip our piece over and we're gonna attach our buttons. So this is the unfinished side that you wanna be attaching the buttons to. Um, so the side that has the knots. 
and we're just going to attach the button the same as we did with the voodoo doll so we're going to come up from the back through one of the holes of the button okay and then like we do when we're sewing on a button we're going to just go and diagonal and go back through the diagonal hole so the hole opposite we're going to go down close to where we came up. You want to come up and down close to the same spot. So up through the button and then down through the other one. Then we're going to go up through the other hole that we haven't used yet and go diagonal once again and go back down. Perfect. So once our button is secured, we're going to um, help attach it a little bit better to keep it more secure so it doesn't fall off, but just by wrapping our thread around the base. So we come up through the back underneath the button, just like I have here. And then all you're gonna do is wrap your thread around the button. You can do it um, three times, four times, five times, or six times, depending on how big your button is and how much you want it to stick um, up off of the felt. So I'm just going around four times. Then I'm gonna go back down underneath the button through the felt And we'll pull tight to secure that button in place. Make sure our felt isn't scrunched. There we go. And as we always do, we'll tie it off. So I'll go through an existing stitch there. I'll create a loop and I'll just tie it off. And voila, we've attached a button. I'll chop off that extra um, floss there, that extra embroidery thread with my scissors, and we'll be good to go. Now it's time to sew on the second button. So I've re-threaded my embroidery floss. I'm going to attach the button on the opposite flap um, from the last button. And we're just gonna follow the exact same process as before to attach that button. Next, we need to create a little loop so that the buttons can hold each other together to keep our uh, bag closed. So to do that, I've re-threaded my needle with my embroidery floss, and I'm just gonna come up on one side, and I'm gonna come up closest to the inside of the um, tic-tac-toe board on one side of a button. So you can see I've kinda come up on the left side of that uh, right button, and we're gonna come up through, and then we're gonna go back down in the same spot, well, close to the same spot, but don't pull tight. You're gonna keep a loop. Then we're gonna flip it over and we're just gonna test out our loop to make sure that it's the right length. So you're gonna fold in your two big sides, then fold in your two button sides carefully. Okay, and you'll have a loop. And you're just gonna pull that loop and make sure it'll fit over top of the other button. This is how you're gonna keep your case closed. Okay, if you think it needs to be a little bit tighter, you can pull on your needle and it'll actually tighten it a little bit. So you'll see me in here, I pull on my string to tighten it a little bit, okay? And once you have about a good size, you're gonna very carefully take the um, string, the loop off of your second button, very gently, okay? And then we're just gonna have to secure it in place with a knot without pulling um, our loop through. We want to leave that loop. So you're going to tie a knot on the back and leave the loop. Once you've tied that knot off, you can go ahead and chop off the extra string 
voila, you've created a case. So you can see that I am playing a little game of tic-tac-toe with myself. I have my 10 other buttons and my two colors. I'm just gonna play a little tic-tac-toe game here. Show you how it works. Woohoo, I won the game. I'm gonna put all my pieces away. So I'm just gonna pile them all in the center. And then I'll close up my little pouch, secure it with my new loop. And voila, there is our tic-tac-toe portable game. If you're noticing on the back of your game that you don't like the look of the um, knots, you can cut them down a little bit. So cut off any of the extra and get kind of tight to the knots. Um, another option is if you have any scrap felt or extra felt or fabric, you can actually just glue a piece, a square piece of fabric over top of it um, to conceal the knots on the back but um, I think they look all right. I don't mind them, so I'm gonna leave mine. Thanks everybody for participating, for watching today, for creating your tic-tac-toe travel game, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.